Hi, I'm Joe from Northeast Mountain Guide, and we're here at Crowder's Mountain today. I'm going to talk to you today about uh, how to assess bolts, just their strength, durability, different types of bolts. I'm not going to go too in-depth with them, just a little quick briefing on them. I'm going to point out two that we have right here. The um, main thing you want to look for, besides macro and micro structures, the different kinds of metal, what type of bolts there. It's hard to see with what type of bolts. If we look at this bolt here, it's a metolius, the clip. We know this is stainless steel, but you see a bunch of writing on the head. A lot of people aren't too sure what that means. They start Googling, trying to figure it out, but this one says S30400. That's part of the unified numbering system. It's a way that they grade bolts. So S304, we know that it's in the 300 series of stainless steel. The 00 is the alloy. That means it's um, chromium, nickel, and steel. It's rated for outdoor use. It's stainless steel bolt. This is perfect. If you look at this bolt here, again, the clip is pencil, so we know it's stainless steel. But the bolt here, look at the rust on the head. You can barely make out what type of bolt this is, but we do see three slashes, which means that it's a medium carbon steel bolt. This is not a um, stainless steel bolt. They do make a stainless steel grade called an 18A. That means it's 18% chromium and 8% nickel, which is rated for outdoor use. And they also make one that's coated in zinc. But I'm not sure if this is coated in zinc or not, but I think it's just straight up stainless steel. But you can see the galvanic reaction happening here. It's causing rust all over the top of this thing, and it's starting to corrode down into the stainless steel. Here we have another bolt. This is a Petzl nail drive. It looks like this before it goes in. But something was wrong with the macro structure of the rock here, because if you look down, you could see that this head, that it's driven all the way down into the shaft of the bolt, which means the macro structure was bad, or the person who said it didn't know what they were doing. When you're placing bolts, you're assuming responsibility for everybody that climbs after that on that bolt. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't place a bolt. But to assess this bolt, this bolt I would not clip into, just for the fact that the pin in the middle is all the way set down, which means the hole is too big, macro structure is bad, there's many things, so you want to look at that. If you see these petzl nail drives, you want to make sure that the head is flush with the beveled inset inside the bolt head here. Here we have another Petzl nail drive, which is perfectly set. If you look at the pin on the top, it's set flush with the beveled inside. This is a perfect bolt. Macro structure to me looks good. Again, we can't really tell what the micro structure of the hole that was drilled, but look for quartz lines, stuff like that. Um, this type of rock here is uh, some type of quartzite. I'm not sure, um, kyanite or something like that. But um, this bolt is very good. Petzl nail drive, person set it properly. If you're curious on how they drill these holes, here's one of the drill bits right here. This is an SDS bit. Um, this is a half inch bit. SDS stands for Special Direct System, which is, it was derived from a German term, which pretty much meant uh, insert, twist, and stay. But um, the Bosch company has that. And they, they've been making bits for years. They make power tools and stuff like that. But it's the same type of bit you're going to be using. We're talking about bolt Again, just look for the metal types. Make sure it's stainless steel. You can usually tell by looking at it. It has a shimmer to it. If it's zinc, that's rated for outdoor use, but make sure that it's for the purpose. We have one here. This is a compression type. This is a, a nut on the top. This one's a zinc. This is a zinc color between steel. Um, it's called galvanized. It goes through a process where they dip it in some acid baths. They dip it in hot molten zinc, and that's it. But zinc, when it grows, it gets like a white film on it. So you're going to notice that right away. But um, this type of bolt basically has a cone on the end that just pulls it up through and just compresses against the rock. And that's it. Again, I'm Joe from Northeast Mountain Guiding. You can visit us on the web at um, www.northeastmountainguiding.com. And that's our bolt assessment video. Keep climbing.